way. No. Yeah, surely. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, that should be live. And then I'll, I'll, I'll look at supers on here. Oh, mate. Right. When you like those big dog, you have two phones. Yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah. Well, I've got two phones. Okay. Um, James on. Yeah. I've not got yeah, one freaking yeah. phone. Yeah, well, it makes sense. It all makes sense now. It all makes sense. Yeah. Except, James. Yeah. You're upsetting me, Ian. I keep managing to forget about it. Not working. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fix, mother fluffers. Yeah, it's brought to you by Western Survivor Beef Jerky. Great beef jerky. <laughs> no. In the, have you ever had it? No. Oh, my God. It's amazing. It is actually it is. the greatest beef jerky in the world. www.thesurvivor.ca Let's go. Sometimes we come on the fix and there's quite a few of us. Sometimes we come on the fix and there's not many of us. Today it's myself and the mighty Roly Ray. That's quite a match today, so. Yeah. But we're going to start with a little bit of a statement. I believe a fact. Arm Wars is the best promotion in the world. James is the worst. Hey, camera hey, hey, fucker hey. opera. You could pull it up. I think you might have, it might have gone. Yeah, no, it's yes. done. Yeah, it's fucked up. Just up. Yes, now it works. Yeah, so... <laughs> no, no. Oh, there he is. He's still going. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, for the last few days I've been talking about the skill set of my remarkable production director. His name is James Statham. And uh, we'll, call awful. Him, we'll call him Jason. And to right, be honest, there will be violence. <laughs> see, oh, and so Jason over there uh, just grabbed over the phone and threw it on the floor. But that's because you broke his phone. I did not break it. Yeah, sure. No, it was Stonesy. Mm. I think you'll find it was Stonesy. It was Stonesy. Yeah, <laughs> you know. But he keeps you responsible for that. He's like a smaller guy. Yeah. You know, like small. SM, yeah. old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I was saying before my mate threw the phone on the floor, Arm Get Wars is the best arm wrestling promotion in the world, and in also, my opinion. And also it's back. With, oh, a, with oh. a biggity bang. Biggity biggity bang. Yeah. We're joined. The biggest iron dick you will ever see. Yeah. One of the top two. Now, I'm going to be honest, if I come across a bit weird tonight, it's because I'm at that stage of tiredness where you feel semi-drunk. Let me work this. Yeah, you look at Super Chats because you can read and everything. Yeah. So, we started off this morning, and it's fair to say, I mean, I had no sleep last night, and woke myself up with a shower and two cups of coffee. Things weren't going great. Mm. But we were alright because my mate Jeff Hale was in the mother fluffing house. And he brought evil. <laughs> it's also Oklahoma. Now, Jeff, you've done a few arm wars in your time. Oh, yeah. How did you rate today? Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, he didn't see my match. I didn't see your match, that's true. I had to get another COVID test. Well, that's okay, though, mate, because I've just uploaded that video. Oh, good. good. Yeah. It's just going Some up. would say it was the match of the day. It's a good one. I mean, you, you will say that to Frodo Hogan. Yeah, I was going to say Frodo. <laughs> <laughs> Some will say this match was a match of the day, but. I don't think so. Yeah, for, for, it's a pretty good match though. Because he lost his match. He actually won my match. I thought Teddy's match was pretty good too. I'm going to say that I thought Frodo Hoagland won that match. <laughs> I'm Unpopular that. statement. You know. Yeah. yeah. I should probably. <laughs> I felt that Frodo Hoagland was very unfortunate. <laughs> I thought he had the. the sometimes we have a saying in England that you got the rub of the green. Now that mean, it doesn't mean that you fingered a frog. That means that things are going your way. Okay? Now today, that did not go Frodo's way. <laughs> Frodo, I thought, was very unfortunate. And what I will say though, we've been talking on the fix before. Hey everyone, this is, uh, there will be spoilers. <laughs> I yeah. say that's a good point. Well, yeah, well. there will be spoilers about today's event. So, uh, but we, we have to talk. The matches you still will have to see, because, like, 
You tell them because they won't believe me yeah. what we went through today. We so let listen. Start with the Bible classic, yeah. and we we went live. We we and we thought, holy shit, it's worked. The life's yeah. good. Everything's going great. But then, copyright strike. Copyright strike. Copyright yeah. strike. Sending us YouTube taking stuff down. Problems due to the fact that we're in an expo. And one of the things that we haven't thought about was the fact that around the expo are people doing DJ stands, displays, cheerleaders, dance crews that are positioned probably 60 yards across from us, and they've got big commercial tracks on. The problem was... 30 yards. 30 yards? There's no way it was 60. It was 60 yards. There's no way that was... Maybe that it's... Was a, you know, yards I mean, what we... You might have different measurements to me. I mean, you know, six inches... Okay. But anyway, we kept getting copyright strikes. That is six inches, isn't it? Yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah. So it is in Darwin. <laughs> in your missus. Now then, let's get off this. Yes, you <laughs> shut the fuck up. You've already thrown my phone on the floor. <laughs> so we had copyright strikes, okay? <clears throat> Coming through like mad. We then went live with the second stream yeah. and we got bounced yeah. and they took the stream down and we got nasty warnings so we ended up having teams of people from the Arnold Classic coming over trying to rectify the situation and ultimately we were told it cannot be rectified so apologies for everybody out there we went for it really hard to the point where we nearly got the channel taken down <laughs> uh, so pretty friggin hard all the footage is there as I said before, the live thing was not our uh, purpose, it wasn't the focus, it isn't the focus. One of the big problems there is that people kicking around with mobile phones actually jeopardises the future of the channel. And you don't get good quality footage. I've just uploaded uh, Rowley and Craig's match a moment ago, and that was an absolute banging, screaming match. The only bad match, the only issue we had today, which affected... The, the reality check card negatively was the fact that my boy over here got himself busted up <laughs> in the, the was it the first or second round second round yeah, yeah I, wasn't, I wasn't ready for the first round <laughs> <laughs> just walk us through the, the situation mate. what have you what have you done because it's pretty bad yeah I mean I think I've uh, just stretched or damaged those tendons and ligaments that connect the, to the elbow from so the like collateral ligaments on the yeah. inside yeah. yeah so it's, 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 pretty, it's pretty similar to what happened to me at, uh, at WF 2019 on the left side. Mm. Just, uh, I'm in a, basically a, an overly stretched position, and I'm getting banged on, or I'm doing some of the banging myself, and it just... This sounds like oh, experiences I've had. It was, like it was like a machine gun going off. <laughs> and uh, my stubborn ass decided to pull a couple more times after that. <laughs> You actually did. Yeah. We, I even had a chat. It happened yeah. again. When I got into the top roll, uh, defensive top roll position, losing again, yeah. I went to the elbow joint again and did it, and did it again. I was like, oh, fuck, I'm, I'm, this is not good. No. <laughs> no. And the funny thing was, when you got arm on arm with Giannis, you were definitely in the match. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, my arm is stronger than Giannis. I knew that going into the match. Mm -hmm. my, my arm's fucking iron right now. My back is iron right now. Mm -hmm. uh, what I couldn't deal with with Giannis was just his explosive, poppy hand wrist cut. <laughs> His hand is fucking really, really solid. Yeah, yeah. Now, my hand's no joke. I think if you ask Giannis, my hand probably felt really intimidating too because when I would load up, he, he wouldn't have nothing with it. Mm -hmm. Even that last round, match four, I, I heard that. I, I said, listen, I'm, I'm busted. I'm done. Yeah. Come on, load up with me. He still didn't want to load up with me. No. Uh, my low right now is, I'm telling you, I'm mega strong right now. I just, I think uh, Giannis, has, Giannis has got a, a move that is difficult for me to handle. Mm -hmm. um, I wish I had the opportunity, like Ray, to train with him on a regular basis because doesn't, I think doesn't, doesn't help. I think for me, I would evolve, and I would, I would, it, yeah. it would, it would allow me to. I just know, I, I know I'm a hell of an arm wrestler. Yeah. I know I can compete with the best of the best. It's just making the right decisions, making the right moves, and coming in prepared properly. And I think I was, I think I was there. I just think, you know, I had some tricks up my sleeve that I wasn't able to utilize. The, the refereeing limited my ability to load. Mm -hmm. um, Giannis was smart in his complaints. Um, and I think Giannis got away with a little bit of elbow fouling to himself. I saw uh, one, of, one of my good friends sent me, a, uh, sent me a couple snapshots from round two. Giannis' elbow was like four inches off the table. Mine was planted. 
I mean, like, it's like, damn, like, maybe I could have had something there in that match had he stayed on the table with me. Mm -hmm. And that didn't get cold. It did not get cold. Wow. And every time I would try to, to get a little more pressure in the strap, I couldn't get the strap tight. Like, the buckle was getting the buckle was getting pulled down underneath, and so when he would try to stitch it down more, it just wouldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. And every time I tried to load up to try to get a little bit of pressure in the strap, and then step back down, I was getting called for, you know, rising. Yeah. And really, the reality is, is that Jans was doing just as many, sh just as many shenanigans up there as I was. Oh, yeah. He's just a lot better at staying cool and collected, you know, and I get a little more frustrated. And so referees, they don't respond well to that kind of frustration. No. They say, I don't know, it's all your fault. You're doing all the bad stuff. Mm -hmm. But the, the, to give everybody a flavor for the battleground, because they won't have seen <clears throat> Casper's Gravis is a goddamn lead. I He's mean, a hell of a Casper's is the kind of guy who should actually wear his underpants outside <laughs> his jeans. <laughs> Because I mean, he came. He, he's he's he driven up. He doesn't need a cape. We'll cape. We'll he, he really needs one. Don't, don't get it in that color that that other shirt was though, because that mm -hmm. color, ter the color Pantone yeah, terrifying blank. We got it, and it doesn't actually look that good. No. no, no. There's a reason that Latvia didn't go for that purple. Mm. Yeah. They probably <laughs> probably brought it to the Latvian uh, decorations committee mm -hmm. and said, you know, in Latvian, which Ray doesn't speak. Well, Casper's Gravis does, because he can wear his underpants outside his pants. They probably took it to the commission and said, well, that's, you know, because they know each other. What do you, what do you think about that? Do you like that colour of purple? Mick, it's all right, mate. Anybody that walks into a room like that with massive pizzas, particularly tonight. <laughs> oh, that big one. You can mine. even come in front of the fucking screen. I don't care. Walk right past. Go on. There you go. You right you right yeah, there it is. <laughs> we'll be on those in a minute. But... He probably went up and said, what do you think about purple, lads? You know what Latvians went? Let's go, Doc. Let's go, Doc. So what did Ray do? Gave it to his mate, Sandris. Making you a seat. Sandris. <laughs> well, Sandris San San pulled in that, yeah. Lovers is wearing it all day. Didn't he? Yeah. Oh, I love him. We got three diamonds there in Chicago today. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> That's pulled into my shirt. How many of them won? Two. Two and one. Two and one. No. Bad. We're talking about Casper's Gravis, right? I want to just dwell on Casper's Gravis. Yeah. Because people won't know so, some of the trials well, and tribulations we faced no, here in reality check this time, right? We had Mindaugas Teresaitis got the worst possible run of luck and bad cards you could get. Right as he was about to get on the plane, he effectively gets COVID-19, he gets bumped. Yeah, he's yeah. coming in. He's coming. You stay as well. No, 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 no. Said, said. So, he gets bumped, okay? Terrible. So at that point, I'm thinking, this is a disaster movie. This is terrible. This is not what we need in our, our life. Enter, he knows what o'clock in the night. He got he, there, he got there five what? minutes before the match started. Hey, and people don't mean it. But got here five minutes before the goddamn match went yeah. live. Like, really? He actually walked into the yeah. building yeah. wearing bad footwear. It's got to be said. Five minutes before the match started. Wearing my pants. And that match. <laughs> I had to wait Actually, for him to yeah, take yeah. his shirt off so I could mic him. I was waiting to mic him up. Yeah. I mean, I'm just going to say also, I want to go on record as saying, right, some of the stuff that he's done today, Jason, has done today, right, has upset me a bit. But the fact that the mother fluffer is sat like five feet away eating a large Hawaiian pizza right now. That's the worst. Yeah, but, but that's because your friend is no. useless. In a minute, technical <laughs> director Rowley. May take over for a moment while I go and smash a piece of pizza and I'll come back. Okay. But it also frees up a seat for Caspers. Yeah. Caspers comes in, right? He gets into a match with the lean machine, Tom Holland. And it was one of the most intense, incredible screamers you will ever see. It's ridiculous. From your perspective, when you're back there with Yaris watching that, you must have been thinking, oh, yeah. this is awesome. <laughs> honestly, I, honestly, I did not care. I was too focused on my own my own match. Mm. Um, but I, I was not surprised for it to be a great match. I mean, Casper, I, the first time I saw Casper on, I think it was on one of Ray's channels, I knew this guy was going to be, a, a, you know, a phenomenon. He's, a, he's, he's very versatile. 
He's explosive, he's fast, he can hook, he can top roll, he can go anywhere, and I think he's a great arm wrestler. And I, I thought it was a, a really good matchup for Tom. Yeah, it was. It was excellent. Yeah. When I first contacted Ray, we were got on the phone, and I said to him straight off the bat, is Casper's available? And he said, don't know, we'll check it out. And like in 10 minutes, he's back, and he's like, Casper's available, let's <laughs> yeah. go. Yeah. That was music to my ears. That's a good call. Said, Get good that. On the pants outside, his pants wearing mother fluffer <laughs> on a plane, get him over. And he came, he saw him, he kicked some ass. What a match! When you guys see that match, honestly, you will too be a believer. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. We got in the super chats, we're gonna bust. Yeah, so Jesse, then Joe. Sorry, you couldn't watch live and just getting in the chat now, but will the rest of the matches be uploaded? Uh, when will the rest of the matches will be uploaded? Just watch Ray and Craig match, and it was dope as fuck. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. I will upload the stuff as quickly as I can, but, but I need to ask you guys to be patient for some of this stuff because if you if you were here, if you knew what was going down, you won't even believe it. <laughs> I didn't sleep like I did not go to sleep last night like at all. Wet got I maybe got like an hour. And then I was up again. And I was up again. Just problem, problem, problem. Trying to get some of the guys here. Some of the issues we've had. Just ridiculous. It was crazy stuff. And then obviously we've run the entire show today. So there is no breaks. It's now sort of 10.30. We're on here. We've literally just finished the interview with Caspers. And we've been editing the... Uh, well, I've been editing the, the Ray and, and Craig match for you guys. So we're working as hard as we can, guys. We are working as hard as we can. Any more supers we've got to hit, mate? No. Nope. Okay, okay. So, bit of an update, because we're not going to stay on too long tonight. Just yeah. a bit of an update in terms of uh, what's going down tomorrow. We're trying to move things back a little bit so that we get a later start time. Uh, we are going to have uh, slots available tomorrow for everyone who missed out today in terms of, by that I mean, uh, Bojira and Vladislavs are on their way north tonight from uh, London. Yeah, How long are we off if we get us off the plane? In, I think Vlad is off the plane. Around now. Sasho Andreev is in the country. Bojira Simeonov is in the country. Robvijan Jr. is here. Upstairs, or actually downstairs, here. Robvijan Jr. I still need a shirt and I cannot sleep. Part because of the stress and part because Paul Maiden said his wanker looks like Tom Paul from Kickboxer. Oh my god. Um, he said his <laughs> dick looks like Tom Paul from yeah. Kickboxer. Paul Maiden told him that. So what we have a look at told him that the his six dick zero switch looks like Tom Paul Are you surprised? No! No, I'm not. Sounds exactly what Paul Maiden would say. It does. Neil looking huge. When... When Neil's comeback starting, sorry, comeback. Mate, I'll be. So listen, my one of my training partners for general weight training is actually here with us, Mick Holland. And I was talking to somebody the other day. The the last time that I trained for arm wrestling, specifically for arm wrestling, i.e., on arm wrestling table, which is where my training takes place, was over five and a half years ago. That's to just give you an update on, you know, so. For me to uh, consider competing with guys at the level of the lads who've been doing what we do here this weekend would be, uh, it, it, I just couldn't do it. I'd have to get my ass in gear and work very, very hard to try and get back to any kind of level. And I love today watching the likes of Caspers. Yourself? I'm going to say, Ray, I thought you were awesome today, mate. Genuinely awesome. I think you arm wrestled brilliantly. Uh, I was distraught that, that Jeff got hurt. Yeah. But the match... See if it comes back on. Are we live again? Give me a second. We are live. We're live again. Yeah, we're live. Yeah. The magic touch. So this is a question for... Jason uh, can't, can't do that. For Hellraiser. I live in Tulsa. You've got to sleep in that room today. Jay tonight. Jim, you might pull a maiden on you. Or does he throw a big practice where people can get in and learn? Well. Oh, yeah, we do a, on, a practice Ross. outdoors right in the COVID, thing. but uh, <laughs> we do a practice at my house every Sunday. Practice on Thursdays at one of the other floors. 
Um, so yeah, there's a couple opportunities a week to come out and train with us, and it's always open to anybody, especially new guys that don't want to get involved in the sport. So how do they get a hold of you? Uh, probably yeah. just best to what? Or team? Uh, probably just best just to message me on Facebook or Instagram. Eventually, I get to that stuff. I don't do much social media anymore these days, but eventually, I'll get to it. <laughs> so it will take two years. You will it's get back possible. To you. Yeah, it's possible. <laughs> You'll get back to me. So Neil, what do you want me to talk about? Neil, I'll talk about gravis, mate. How can you have I have talked about gravis every time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. Just get get Casper's insight. This is his first ever arm. Yeah. Yeah. The okay. man deserves some spotlight. Casper. Casper has been arming for 16 years. 16? Yeah. That's 15, the same as me. 15, 15. Since, since he was 10 years old. Wow. 11. Competitive? 11. She started a competition at 11 years 11 old. 11 years yeah. old, yeah. Wow, that's pretty awesome, dude. So, well, yeah. yeah. And race 15 now. <laughs> you're, oh, you're at 15 now, not 15 yeah. years old. Since I was one year uh, old, I started training. <laughs> when, uh, so, how does the first arm wars look? How did the events, all, all, all these things that happen today, right today? It's very well. It's awesome. It's a really awesome. Which, which was your favorite match today? Myself. Your match? Favorite myself, yeah. Have you been on a stage like that before, though, with a crowd, a crowd that big and that kind of into it? Because, you know, I always feel like on wars, there's a different kind of feeling when you get up yeah, there. Yeah, it's a different feeling, yeah. It's so many people, and, and they... So to say, cheer, uh, cheer, uh, cheer your name to win. And you feel energy. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Casper's been to, I don't know how many Europeans and worlds, but never been. Not, not real super matches. Not real, yeah. you know. He pulled like a month ago in Norway with us, but uh, he was too strong there. I had super match with Lenny again. Yeah, yeah, that's really bad. It's way bigger, but. I, I gotta say one thing though about your arm wrestling style. One thing that I really like about it is that you are willing to change your style throughout the match. Most European guys that I watch, they're just one-hit wonders. They have one style, and they never change. They never yeah. adapt. But you you remind me like more of myself as far as like when I was really big into the arm wars back in the day, just always just testing the boundaries, hook, top roll, press, yeah. whatever. And that's really I cool. said this in, in the interview. If you are hooking, I'm going with who? With you. And oh, right. where you are the best. Yeah. If That's you go the top roll, I go with the top roll. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite Jeff Hale lines of all time. I hooked him, but I top rolled him at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. So, one. All right. Yeah. Well, I stuffed my fat face full of pizza. That bastard took two pizzas, put them like a sandwich, and yeah. them. Yeah. I mean, um, no, it's the size of his pizza compared to mine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that, that, that was say. an instruction. Yeah. Just read out my read, read out as the long, order. Basically. As long as mine's bigger than James's, I'm <laughs> no, not no, it says, This is the order. A massive Hawaiian. <laughs> He's not talking about pizza. And a massiver chicken, <laughs> mushroom, ham, sweet corn, and pineapple. Yeah. And I think we delivered. We yeah. delivered. That is the biggest pizza I've ever seen in my fucking life. No, no. They did de deliver. And they deliver. Oh, nice work. Yeah. Mm. Bloody big pizza. Working on levels, though, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> now, live from Yorkshire, that. The, 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 the best thing about today was that Arm Wars has been away for a long period of time now. And it came back and hit the ground running, I think it's fair to say. Yeah. Because every single match was filth. Yeah. Even the first matches that people didn't know that much about, you know, the first Isaac and Ted, mm -hmm. it's crazy it was match, a good match yeah. really good match, even the second for it, uh, second was uh, John and uh, Jason, Jason, yeah, yeah, that killed too, yeah, Uncle John, Uncle was John killer. was a bad mother fluffer, <laughs> yeah, real bad mother fluffer, then what was next, it was uh, Popescu, yeah, mm -hmm. versus, Dave? versus da David Bradford, yeah. yeah, and that was a good match too, then we get the, the next one was Kaspars and uh, Tom, Yanis and Jeff, mm -hmm. and then uh, Frode and, and uh, Bogdan. Stockton, Stoica. Yeah, and we finished it off with uh, yeah, the finals Tom and Yanis and me and Craig. And, and you missed Sanders. Oh, Sanders, Sanders also pulled today with uh, with Weber. Diesel Lee Weber. <laughs> Diesel Lee Weber. <laughs> and that was Iron Dick. Yeah, yeah. Some real entertainment. We will get this stuff up as quick as we possibly can. Yeah. But. Just in terms of tiredness, I have not been a well man. 
like I say, there's more than a cough so hard I suck my trousers up my whole ass. You should have so, mentioned it now. So, with Jason dropping his phone, <laughs> you know, I mean, let's just give a shout out to James Statham, right? Because he's had a bad day, haven't you, James? Don, I'm afraid that Ian's going to hurt himself. Yeah. With the amount of abuse we're giving him over dropping my phone. Because Ian dropped his phone. That's terrible. And broke it. I feel. It, I know, right? It's like a bullet in the heart, isn't it? Yeah. Like a bullet. Anyway, but, moving on. But tomorrow, yeah. we will be back. We won't be going live. So <laughs> damn sure yeah, our sure the channel. We will not go live. All the matches will be recorded. And again, like Neil said, he will post them as soon as he can. Uh, but most likely you will see the stories from all the athletes mm -hmm. that are there on Instagram, some Instagram posts. So even though you know the score, it's like, you know, watching the game after you know the score, the game was amazing. Mm. You know, some, some of these matches, you, can, you cannot even imagine how they went and they went pretty crazy. I think it was really good. O overall event, except this. <laughs> except that. No. Neil, this is for the thing. Tequila shot you look like you need. Sure, you the do. rest of your weekend goes smooth. Can't wait to watch the rest of the matches. All we need now, guys, right? Is for everything to go okay with Vlad. Vlad Boji, Boji, Sasho. Sasho yeah. That they get up, up here and are ready to go. Yeah. That would just round it off. If we get a day tomorrow with Kadecha and Espy, Sasho and RVJ. If it rivals what we saw today, this is a freak event. This is a mega event. Yeah. There's some... Uh, uh, Matt, tickle my limits, Larry. Go on, Matt. First off, this is an awesome stuff. Neil and G Scale is a massive creature. <laughs> Ray looked up, so didn't Uncle John. I guess he meant did. did. Mm -hmm. Most likely did. Great job, Neil. Uh, Big Poge. Poge? Mm. Wow, just watched Ray's match with the bullet and it was great armor is the best thank you neil and let us know in the comments guys from what you did see did you enjoy what you saw Hope stupid you... question well write something else <laughs> but because i mean this really go outside was, and adopt a cat that was what we had planned for uploading the stuff in the interim it's not going to be it's going to be like your match and craig's match it'll just be yeah. bump 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 match 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 well, most likely you will not see anything better than my and Craig match. It's been a good match. Oh, you know. It was quite a good match. Everything's downhill after that, but sure. Ray, tell him about the woman who asked me to sign her titties. Yeah, so uh, Neil goes off the stage and a woman approaches him and says, uh, would you sign my tits? And he's like, yeah. And she's like, I'm serious. But could you do like arm wars and Neil pick up? And he's like, okay. And then she said like, I'm going to get tattoo of this. And he's like watching around. And she's like, I'm dead serious. So... I can't wait for that video. <laughs> I can't wait for that video either. Yeah. No, but surely she's joking though. She must have been kidding. I <laughs> hope she's not. I hope. The last from Giant Clive were like, oh no, I think she's actually serious. She was really going to get that done. So, yeah. you know, I'd like to just make sure that that lady does get some help. Um, on, on, on what? <laughs> With what? <laughs> Paying for the I tattoo. I think she's fine. I, uh, sounds awesome. Sounds like a lovely lady. She was actually a lovely lady. She got a picture taken, getting it signed. Yeah. Uh, awesome. <laughs> and uh, you know, I also will do pantomime, summer season, and um, tea signings. I don't, <laughs> I don't. I can't. I'm finding it hard to believe you've not mentioned your broken ass yet. Oh, shut the fuck up, Jeff. I, I missed a super chat. This is for Jeff. Does Jeff have nightmares about Joseph Lave? About Joseph Lave? <laughs> No, I did not have nightmares about Joseph Lave. Joseph and I are friends. I have no no, no bad bad thoughts about the dude. He's a, he's a hell of an arm wrestler and a good buddy. You, you you know who I'm living in the same room with? For the Howland, so. Oh, that guy who's your right. your match was just he, a he's bit like, better. Why are you screaming half of the night? I'm like because of you, <laughs> because of you. But now he's gonna cry all night because he he lost and he had the second best match of the day. So I'm very satisfied. Hey Ray, tell him who came to watch your match. Who was at tableside watching your match? Oh you? yeah. So turns out Larry Wheels is in Arnold Classic and his manager Adam Silver was there. I saw Adam. I heard someone screaming like 
elbow pads or elbow files are optional and I'm like sounds like Adam but I didn't look because I was in the match and at some point I'm just turning Adam's there so most likely we'll see Larry Wills tomorrow mm -hmm. yeah. I may have a I may have to do a physique challenge physique with challenge Larry, you know. oh yeah so yeah you prepare your one pack uh, yes, it's a very large What's one. Your large yeah. 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 You like, I don't know. I'm actually working 6 on it. 6% body fat? Right. <laughs> so, 6% no. body muscle? 6 deep. <laughs> body fat. I think you'll find that it is. I have a similar body composition at this point in time to lard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or butter. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, like, <laughs> like walking <laughs> butter. 6% fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it's okay. It's been a challenging week. Right. A challenging week. Yeah. And I brought my do, ass, I mentioned. Do you want yeah. uh, do you want some fried chicken to go with your bacon? Oh, no. no. No, somebody left a piece of paper on the steps <laughs> today. And while I was leaving the steps with my tripod talking to a woman. You were leaking butter. That's what I was saying. It's the same guy who broke your phone. Oh, he's a bastard. Are we, uh, are we both after that little shit then? <laughs> terrible. We went for an Indian tonight, wouldn't give us a pizza. Yeah. There's a pizza. I think we need to finish this up. Yeah, uh, roll it up. I, I will have some cats delivered to my room really soon, and I need to go. It does need up. to adopt a cat. Yeah, if you, uh, I genuinely think yeah. so. Yeah. yeah. I just want to say to everybody who was there at the event today. Also, we got a lot of great support. Oh. Oh. It was excellent. I, I never felt more a celebrity than today. It was like random people just walking up and just like portraying. Like, <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, it overall was great. We had a lot of people just came to watch the show. Mm -hmm. And when everyone was going out, they were staying to watch the two matches at the end of the day and it was just awesome to thank everyone who was there. You know? Yeah, so thank you guys for everybody who supported the show. Yeah. We really do appreciate that. Yeah, we'll give updates on tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, tomorrow will be crazier than today for sure. Lovely to ask. Yeah. If you're watching, guys, thank you very much for your support. Yeah. Big and bomb. This is not a casting couch episode. Okay? Mm. Fake taxi. Fake couch. Yeah, it's fake taxi. Fake yeah. taxi. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm looking, I'm still looking for that sponsorship, you know. Well, that's it. You've got to hang out there. I'll tell you what, I'm mate. I'm trying to blow all my money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. I don't know. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for taking the time. We're going to wrap it up there. Uh, and we will see you tomorrow. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Hang on a minute. At the, at the Armour Plastic. Yeah. Want to hit that, that, hit that cross, mate? Yeah. On the far side, James? With this leg. Okay. I got so much adrenaline, this is why I don't look tired. And then it feels like to hit end.